Students at Matia Valley High School had the opportunity to hear how the choices they make in school can affect their outcome in life from America's leading authority on juvenile homicide. For the past 20 years, Phil Chalmers has been studying juvenile homicide and mass murder, interviewing more than 200 teen killers and school shooters. He's taking his research and discussing it with teens and parents around the country. He hopes with his graphic and energetic speech that he will wake students up about some choices they are making about topics like sex, drugs, drinking, suicide, and bullying. This is the violent video game generation. This is the torture film generation. So um, I keep it real. I talk about a lot of fast moving topics and they seem to really get it. And, and that's the goal. If we can reach one student today, it was worth it. One, one thing we know for sure is we are here to stop bullying because if we stop bullying, we stop school shootings. Most of the times when schools get speakers to talk, um, it's kind of fabricated. It's a little, you know, hold back a little bit. I thought he gave it to us, you know, raw, straightforward and everything like that. And I think he really touched some people. I appreciate that someone's, you know, saying something about bullying. And honestly, I see it all the time. And, you know, you try to put a stop to it, but you can't reach everyone. Chalmers says many school shootings happen because a student was being bullied. They then not only kill their bully, but anyone else in the way. He also discussed with parents some causes, warning signs, and triggers for teen school shooters and killers, such as threats, talking about murders, violence, bedwetting, and animal cruelty. For more information on Chalmers and his research, visit philchalmers.com.